Hi everyone, this reading is for Libra from February 17th to the 29th. I'm, I am holding the camera in my hand, so if it's uh, shaky and that makes you dizzy, you need to go somewhere else because that's just the way I do things. I don't have a tripod. Um, I always show my paintings. They are for sale. This is an, called the 888 series. Um, it's just made up of a lot of color and a lot of sparkle. It's three in the series. The other two are already sold. This one is selling for, for $40 plus shipping and handling. I send anywhere in the world. Details are below. I am taking bookings for readings as well, and the details are below for that. Um, and I got my little one-of-a-kind cubes here. You guys, you know I always show my artwork, so these sell for $30 each, and they're totally one-of-a-kind. Nova Scotia folk art, they collect Nova Scotia folk art is collected all over the world. Today, my crystal ball has turned back to purple, which is very strange, you guys, for the last couple days. It's been this going between a bluish green to clear color. So today you got the purple for the Libra reading. And when I get to your reading, you guys, first of all, I always lay out the cards beforehand just because I don't have a lot of long my equipment won't record for really long, so I never know when it's just going to cut out. So everything is laid out for you and clarifiers. It is a general reading, so apply it to whatever situation is going on in your life, okay? And, and sometimes a couple different storylines come out. I have not looked at the cards yet. This is the most important message that you need to hear, that if you listen to this, will lead you to your very best life, okay? So please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow. It's My channel has been very stuck for a long time. I don't know, it's because I got an old channel that it never grows or what it is, but I've been doing readings. I've been a professional reader for over 30 years. Okay. I don't know why I just turned two cards over together, but everything that occurs while I'm doing a reading is a part of the reading. So these cards must have come, wanted to come out together. And Libra, when I do your reading, what I hear, cool as a cucumber, cool as a cucumber. So I feel like, Libra, you just, there's so many signs right now that are in anxiety. But I feel my Libras, they just insisting to be cool as a cucumber. So you got the eight and nine together, and I pulled them out together. So we got a male and a female, and we got from an eight to a nine, which tells me some sort of progression. I don't normally turn the cards over together, and it did happen. So that is your main message right from the get-go that in your financial arena there is some sort of progression going on for you libra okay so and it's very rapid over the next two weeks our progression so i'm reading those together now i'm going to read them individual eight of pinnacles tells me that there, some of you watching are very focused on something now that could be very focused in a relationship very focused on work you're doing renovations, you're studying something, but right now you start off your reading with the energy of being very focused. For a lot of people, this will be work and this will be study. Um, with it, over the next two weeks, I think that you have a lot of opportunity, Libra, to grow in your finances and to grow in your abundance, okay? I'm gonna pull the cards underneath it. Oh, look, you got the Queen of Pentacles. So, what this reading is really talking to you about is your own personal strength, um, your own personal determination. I love these two ladies. They're very oriental looking, very exotic actually, this guy as well. Um, so some of you might be doing trades to do with China. Um, 
I feel that right now, Libra, you are in prime time to get whatever you want when it comes to your finance, okay? And personal growth, okay? Right now, you have the ability to manifest a lot in that area. And it's interesting the man and woman theme came up as well. And so the man and woman theme continues to play out because you get the emperor very strong in your past. I feel like in your recent past, you made a very strong decision for your life or someone made a very good advice for you. But I'm going to see the card that comes up with it and see what else comes with this because we might go back to why the emperor and for some of you, maybe it's your father left you an inheritance or you're somewhere in your money, you're being influenced by maybe a passed on father figure. Okay, oh, well, this is interesting because here you got all these cards of abundance. You're obviously very, there's a Libra watching this or the collective that is watching this is very focused on growing something in their life. But it shows me that, let's see, we're on the 17th, maybe from the 17th to the 23rd, you're a little bit unsure and indecisive. And you're feeling like you're investing in something, but you're not sure if it's going to give you a good return. Okay, so business dealings going on, uh, trying to get a loan, unsure, are those ships going to make it in? But what I see here so far is a very, very positive reading for you. Now, the Nine of Cups, to me, Depending on what else is with it, some people call this, you know, the drunken fool or the shyster card. And he does look like a bit of a shyster here. But for me, I always, since I began tarot, use this. This card trumps every card in the deck for me. It's always a yes. It's always a wish coming true. So somewhere, some of you, if some of you are watching, you're waiting for a loan. You're waiting to see. If some energy that you put out is going to pan out for you, the answer is yes. Because you're very emotionally fulfilled here. So you go from being on shore, on one foot, juggling, waiting for your ships to come in. But the stormy seas, are they going to crash on the rocks? Oh my God, I invested so much time and money into this. Uh, to being boom. So that lasts about five days, this energy. I would say by the 24th, this worry is past, and you get some very good news. Now, I'm excited to see what the card is underneath it. Um, so, in your subconscious, I love this card. It's a very, the moon, it's one of the strongest cards in your deck. You've got two major arcanas, but you got the wish card too, which I read trumps every energy here. But this is a very intense energy. I feel my Libras are being very drawn to something. They're, very, they're being guided. And they are following that guidance even though you might feel unsure. That's a very powerful card to be coming up with all this money. Because everything here matches. Everything is almost all pentacles in your reading. And then extreme happiness and emotional fulfillment. And you can see the luxury all around him. He got enough money to take himself out to a nice dinner. Get fancy clothes. He's just really happy. And this is all coming out of a deep subconscious drive right now to achieve something so keep going along with that whatever you're dreaming whatever the universe is bringing to you three or more times you are on the right path you are going to be receiving an influx of customers and, and there's such an oriental theme i've never noticed in these cards before that so many of the people or so many people in this card are oriental I mean this guy is not so something to do with the orient or exotic or foreign trade or a global business or customers coming from other places 
But with this, you definitely got an influx of money coming your way. Maybe you land a big contract that you're on sure about as you're watching this video. You're going to get it. Okay, it's coming your way very rapidly. Now, this is interesting because you got the eight and the nine, and you got the nine and the eight of the same suit. So it almost feels, this felt like a progression. This is the advice. So it's not a going backwards, but it's telling you that you do need to go a little bit back in your life, pull back a little bit, because there's something that you need to let go of. Now, in this card, he seems somewhat melancholy. There we got the big full moon and the big full moon. You definitely are getting intuitions that are leading you away from something and towards all this financial abundance. But there is something of an emotional nature that you, that you do need to go back. The advice in this reading, and there's only, to me, one advice position, and this is it for me. And that's to finish up, tie up some loose ends. There's some loose ends that you need to go back and look at, okay, before you take the next step beyond there, okay? And the moon is pulling you, pulling it out of you. So if you're doing so well following the money guidance and following what you're authentic self is telling you to do i want you to do that with an emotional the outcome the queen of cups so we got the queen of pentacles and we got the queen of cups so i feel like you are for sure going to take this advice and emotionally you're going to deal with something now some of you might be doing a psychic business or an art business or there's something really opening up in you when you got the queen and the two queens of pentacles and cups i feel like you're doing something that really has a deep um intuitive connection a deep knowing i'm going to clarify using my little teeny tiny cat cards and i mean we got a clarifier underneath but i don't want to pull those yet I'm using my little teeny tiny cat cards I'm going to get more clarity. But your outcome by the end of February, oh, we got the moon. So it's psychically, like you got the moon here three times. I love it how they got a cat on the moon, right? So there's something really, you're following your inner self in a big way. You're, you, you, you're having a moment in your life that, everybody is kind of wishing for where they could have that clear path laid out before them and the problem is most people want to know the whole 10 steps they want the universe to show them a guarantee everything is going to work out but with this reading i think libra has put themselves in a place that they're willing to follow step by step because that's how universe reveals things to us they require us to take one step and then we're to take the next step. Okay, so I feel like you've done this step. Now you're working on emotionally letting go of something. And you're wanting to know what the next step is. So you're being Libras, my collective that are watching this. You are being very guided right now. Follow your dreams. Keep on the way you're doing. I don't think I need to tell you to follow because I think you're already naturally doing that so you're going to get more insight now i'm going to go back and read the cards that clarify all these i used animal cards and i'm not going to get out the book i'm just going to read the message that goes with them and then see all along what we come up with okay so i'm not so focused on the animal unless an animal comes out several times okay like you got the rabbit and the rabbit together here okay so that's very important okay in your growth right now so the rabbit shows me well first of all the rabbit is like in alice in wonderland he he led her he led her and she followed um but it's also a symbol of abundance okay so let me get these flipped over and so let of limiting a beliefs surrender 
be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is. And I feel right now, Libra, you're really being great at that surrender thing. And you're really focused and enjoying yourself, whatever that focus it is. It's so enjoyable for you. Ground your energies. And I love this because it is very grounding. Okay. You can see her out in nature touching the ground we don't know if she's barefoot but she could very well be barefoot under there and she got all her money lying on the ground okay so ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth and i think that's very important right now because you got a lot of very moony and hormonal energy but instead of it coming up in the negative you're really using it to your advantage Take time to make clear decisions. Bring awareness and light into the situation. And this is what this lady does. So double rabbit here, you guys. Take note of the double rabbit, please. There's really stuff. You're at a very fertile and abundant time over the next two weeks, my Libras. And I, this energy is already upon you, okay? So it's started previously. So keep going with that cycle. Now, I was a little curious about the emperor, and I feel like there is a strong male figure. He might not be alive anymore, but he's having a big influence on your career, and especially on those who are doing self-employment. I definitely feel... A lot of my collective is focused on self-employment. Be open through this transitional time. But that was in the past. That's what he was bringing to you. Okay? You were going through some transition and you were open. Okay? And you were open to this advice that was given to you by someone masculine and very wise he might be very dominating and controlling but he had some good wisdom for you now over the next five or six days as you're kind of in that energy of worry show compassion and forgiveness for what needs to be forgiven and that will get you through this so that's interesting because it says compassion and forgiveness so the compassion in one hand forgiveness in the other will cause the stormy emotions in you to calm down, okay? So you're, that's what those stormy seas are all about, and there's the antidote to it, okay? So here we go. Soul's growth, and definitely there's some big growth here. Growth is never easy. Have faith and trust in the journey. So, you know, it's just some big soul growth going on for you even though it looks like money the the soul growth is in the fact that you're embracing this moon energy you're embracing what's coming to you and you're embracing following this path even though you're not seeing right to the end you're doing it and i'm very so proud of you libra you're setting a great example and it might look like your life is about money right now, but the underlying thing is your soul's growth. And you need to be courageous to follow this path because this is dark and it's scary and it's in the night, you know. Um, you are being tested. Have faith and stand in your truth. Oh, these cards are just blowing me away, you know. So now we got the line. And the other cards, I didn't show the picture. Most of them, but this one... I flipped it over and the line is coming out. I'm not sure if I see the line anywhere else in your reading. Um, we'll see as we move on. Honor your soul and celebrate its journey. So there's definitely some soul honoring going on here. Being brought to you by other people. Okay, there's others around you. Look what you got. Look at all these bunnies. <laughs> so your common theme, Libra, your power animal right now is definitely the bunny rabbit. Things are definitely multiplying for you. But this is with the Eight of Cups, this very emotional, the need, the moon is giving you great money advice, but it's also telling you that 
before you proceed any further, there's some emotional stuff that needs to be looked after. So what's going on right now is about your soul's growth. It's not necessarily about money, but that's how the universe is giving you the soul's growth. Okay, you get it? So straight, straight, strengthen your boundaries and cut cords. It's very important for you right now, Libra. And strength and the line to me go together. So you are getting some strength from outside sources you're being given to. So a sensitive soul, there's something very important about emotions connected to your money. And look, you got a very strong theme of the dog because I clarified this and the dog came up. And on the moon card, you got two dogs. So, wow, you got a lot of power animals here. The wolf represents the wild side. Are we focusing on the dark side of the wolf? Or are we focusing on the light? Whatever you focus on will grow. But Libra, you're doing really great on focusing on the light. I know that. So you got protection here. Um, loyal companionship here. Divine service. Now, could that go any better with the Queen of Cups? How can you serve yourself better? This is about self and soul growth through self. I feel like there's people watching that really purposely put themselves on a journey of growth. And they're determined to follow step by step, no matter what comes along the way. And I feel like this has been going on for quite some time, that you've become determined, okay? And not to let things come along and distract you. You're following your intuition. You're following that moon energy, that psychic energy, that um, intuitive knowing. You're following the moon phases. Sorry, my camera cut out, so now I'm on another camera. You're following your dreams. Just as I said that, the camera cut out. How can you serve yourself better so you know really go through the line surrender ground strength and i feel like the word strength came up quite a few times strengthen your boundaries so for me you got the lion the rabbit and the dog all as power animals right now especially the rabbit things want to multiply your gifts are multiplying because you decided to really grow yourself and you're determined to be on that path now you guys with this card i asked the most important message that you needed to hear that if you follow this will lead you to your best life now you already got one advice card here okay and you, well you got a lot of advice but this is the main advice okay for you wise woman of wonderland integrity and compromise and look what we have here you guys this is so bizarre the bunny rabbit and with this i feel like something for you is going to manifest big towards the spring so keep an eye out i'm sorry you guys i'm just not getting it clear stop it anyways it doesn't want to come clear yet but I feel the more clarity is going to come. So for me, whether you're a man or a woman, it tells me that you're very in tune with your feminine side right now and it's serving you very well. And didn't I mention the Alice in Wonderland? So maybe for some of you, there's an Alice in Wonderland theme to your life because this reminds me of at some point they were sitting on the mushroom and smoking something, <laughs> something, something. Anyway, so integrity and compromise. Now let me see what I can pull up. I don't usually like to get out the books and read, but I will do that for you, for those of you who want it. Let's see, 21. I'm sorry about, I hate the delay, okay. Oh, we got it clear, though. It came clear. I love it. So your feminine side is really serving you well. The wise woman of Wonderland 
brings integrity to thought, word, and deed. She lets you know that as long as you're in the flow of honesty and being true to your word, she keeps you under her protection and care. So, you know, examine your life. Are you being honest to yourself? Are you being honest to others? In your thought, word, and deed, are you being using integrity? When she appears to your ally, she signals a time when honesty pays off, yielding greater dividends than, ex than you expect. And I see that all throughout your readings. There's bigger dividends than you could possibly ever expect. I mean, with all these bunnies, holy cow, you guys. But you're being called on to be honest, and I feel like you're going to be tested. Be thankful that you remained faithful and loyal to your path, which I said that throughout the reading. You're definitely dedicated, and you have been for a while. She reminds you that compromise isn't always an option. Stay true to yourself first and foremost. Although it may appear that you could lose something as a result, you can never lose what is truly yours. Wow, you guys, Libra, I'm so happy for your reading. <laughs> I'm so happy the crystal ball turned purple. Now, it's divided right in the middle right now. Dun, 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 dun. So I always show the crystal ball. If you want to ask a question and then pause the video, or at any point in the video, stare at the crystal ball, you'd be amazed at what you see that's a message for you okay unfortunately I just don't have the time to sit here and do a whole crystal ball reading but it's very powerful if you do decide to do that okay so please like and comment and share and let me know what's going on how did this reading resonate with you like I said all the paintings are for sale I'm open for readings and peace out everyone